Okay, so we have volume and surface area of three-dimensional shapes. So first of all, let's review what volume and surface area mean. Um, sorry. Volume is the number of cubic units it takes to fill a three-dimensional solid. So I'm going to fix that spelling error there. The number of cubic units it takes to fill a three-dimensional object. Surface area, then, is the number of square units it takes to wrap an entire, or to wrap around the entire outside surface or surface of a three-dimensional object, including the top and the bottom. So it can mean different things um, for different shapes depending on what they are, but for our purposes, it's going to be all of the sides, the areas of each of the sides combined. So let's take a look at our first example. We have a rectangular prism, and our rectangular prism um, is 4 centimeters by 12 centimeters, and it is 8 centimeters tall. So we're going to start with finding the volume. And to find the volume, we need to find the area of the base. And the area of the base is the length or the base times the height. And then we need um, base times the width times the height. So we take, find the area of the base times the width and then multiply by the height. So our base is 12, our width is 4, and our height is 8. And we're just going to multiply all of that together. When I do that, 12 times 4 times 8, I get 384. Um, and then we're talking about centimeters, but we're talking about cubic centimeters. So we want to label it centimeters cubed. So that's our volume. Surface area is a little bit more in depth here. We have a couple more pieces that we need to do. So I'm going to look a little bit more closely at this. Um, and I have... This bottom rectangle is going to be the exact same as this top rectangle. Um, our two sides are going to be the exact same across from each other. And then we're going to have The back rectangle is going to be the same as the front rectangle. So we've got a lot of pieces here. Um, so let's start with the area of the top and bottom. Um, so we have a 12 by 4 rectangle. So this is 12 by 4, which is 48. But then we have two of those. So another 12 by 4, we get another 48. And together, we have 96 for the top and combi bottom combined. Now for the sides, we have a height of 8 and a width of 4. So this is for the right and left. So we have 8 
five, four. Eight times four is 32. And that's the right, so the left is going to be the same. Eight times four is 32. So together, when we add those, we get 64. And then we have the front and back. And the front is 12. The base is 12, the height is 8. So this is a 12 by 8. And that is 96. But that was the front, so the back is again a 12 by 8, which is 96. We add those up and we get 192. So now we need to take all of those numbers and add them together. So I have 96 plus 64 